Good morning. My name is Reverend Sarah Gangler from Schuyler First Presbyterian Church in Schuyler, Nebraska. And it is my pleasure to be here to lead you in today's devotional. Today is Wednesday, November 25th. This week we are talking about abundance. As many of us prepare to celebrate Thanksgiving this Thursday, I invite you to take the next few moments to reflect on what you are abundantly thankful for right now. Today our psalm is Psalm 28 and is from the New International Version. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me, for if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help as I lift up my hands to your holy place. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve because they have no regard for the deeds of the Lord and what his hands have done. He will tear them down and never build them up again. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Let us join together in prayer. God, our creator, we celebrate your overflowing love and we give thanks to you for all that we have, all that we are. We know abundance because of you. May we offer thanks to you by sharing what you have blessed us with, our talents, our graces, our spiritual as well as material goods. May we live in your light and in your love during this season and during all the seasons of life. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 10 through 14. Hear the word of the Lord, you nations. Proclaim it in distant coastlands. He who scattered Israel will gather them and will watch over his flock like a shepherd. For the Lord will deliver Jacob and redeem them from the hand of those stronger than they. They will come and shout for joy on the heights of Zion. They will rejoice in the bounty of the Lord, the grain, the new wine, and the olive oil, the young of the flocks and herds. They will be like a well-watered garden, and they will sorrow no more. Then young women will dance and be glad, young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into gladness. I will give them comfort and joy instead of sorrow. I will satisfy the priests with abundance, and my people will be filled with my bounty, declares the Lord. There are many occasions in the Old Testament 
where God provides for the people. I encourage you to take the next few moments to think about where you have witnessed God's provision in your own life. Our gospel today is from the book of John, chapter 5, verses 19 through 40. Hear now the word of our Lord. Jesus gave them this answer. Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can only do only what he sees his Father doing, because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all he does. Yes, and he will show him even greater works than these, so that you will be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to live, and those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. I testify about myself. My testimony is true. There is another who testifies in my favor, and I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it that you may be saved. John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing, testify that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. The word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. I ask you to think about your typical day and all that it encompasses. Before our pandemic and now, 
how do you, how did you, testify daily to your belief in our triune God and our claim as Christians that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior? Let us pray. Holy God, you shower us with an abundance of blessings every day. Blessings that we can tangibly see and name. Yet many of these blessings we fail to acknowledge come from you and pause to thank you for them. Please give us hearts and minds that see your abundance daily and acknowledge the gifts you've given to us. Help us to share those gifts in word and deed with all those we meet and to proclaim the glory of your name. Amen. Thank you for allowing me to join you today. I ask that you stay safe, stay well, and until we meet again, May you have a very blessed Thanksgiving. Please receive this blessing. May our Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May our Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace, now and forevermore. Amen. <music>